welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bumzilla112 bringing to you another War Thunder video. Uh, this one's going to be a continuation of my map knowledge and uh, tank tactics series. Of course, we're going to start out with, as you can see, the enemy team. We are driving the Churchill Mark 7. And uh, how I like to utilize it in an urban area. Uh, if it's in an open area, good good luck to you with it. Especially when it's stuck, it's extremely slow. It does have a really good traverse rate, rate with it, so uh, you can get that to work for you. But let's go ahead and get into this, and let's watch where these Jamokes decide to go. Got people already spawning in. A couple PT-76s, an IS-2, a KV-2. We got, we got one taking a hard flank left. Usually you see more than that, but these guys look uh, intent on uh, hitting up the, the single capture point as fast as humanly possible. We got BT-5, of course, the, the little cap rusher. As you can see, these are the general, normal approach routes that a lot of people take. They come in between these buildings here, and you can easily get shots on them if you're if you're in a fast enough vehicle. You pull into this location here, you have shots on them all day long. But I was in my slow Churchill Mark Seven. Here I am, I'm pushing up the river. Now this game, I do not get a bunch of kills. And uh, there was a lot of RNG that came in with this too. I should have been dead a couple of times. And you'll see the shenanigans that ensues. As you can see, contact's already started on the hill over here. Team starts doing a masterful job at mopping up all the contacts that are out in the open. We didn't have any enemies uh, go across the river, I don't think. You can see how the battle envelops around uh, the single capture point. See how the enemies like to use uh, these buildings here that are in this row, and then uh, usually yeah, one row back. I've already started contact. I'm fairly certain these guys are pushing up and as you can see right over the top of this uh, house here you can see KV-2 pushing up, PT-76 and IS-2. I hesitated for a second right there to check uh, that corner. Keep that front angled away from him. There's not much uh, he can do to you unless he hits you right at the top of your turret here.
That KV2. What's going on down there, boy? As you can tell, it's looking pretty dire over here. As you can see from my angling, I wind up turning my tank so that I can actually engage him. See, he's playing his cover smart. He's keeping far enough away from it. That way he can continue to hold his angle with his tank. be able to poke out with a, a good angle try getting machine guns on them to mark them on the map Uh, at this point in time, this uh, this tank is uh, whoa. Those extra armor plates saved me. But as you can tell, uh, this tank is fairly stock. Uh, I have no parts for it. PT-76 was taken down by that Sherman that was up on the hill. And this is when the Battle of the Behemoths begins. I keep machine gunning. I'm trying to keep them marked on the map so my teammates are aware of what the heck is going on start marking them on the map too it's just so derpy what happens here at this point I'm trying to keep my tank down as low as I can Somehow, I am surviving through this. This is what I meant by the RNG. You got friendlies around me and I'm... I'm marking as much as I can and then finally this uh, Sherman sees there's some kind of shenanigans going on back here. Now, unfortunately, thank you, Mr. Sherman. You saved my butt paid for it with your life now I got a kind of an Austin power situation going there there we go now we're free at this point in time as it comes to ticker loss it's not looking good One thing you gotta remember if you're using a Churchill, just remember you're a Churchill. Even in the higher tiers, or the higher tier gameplay, if you get up tiered or whatever it may be, you can still do damage as long as you remember to angle the vehicle. The only glaring uh, weakness that you have is if you come across T-35, uh, or T-3485, they can easily wreck you if they just hit the top of your turret right here. It's a slope. It's almost like how the Centurion can get killed. Uh, 
Now we're finally in the cap point. Taking it proper like. At this point in time, both teams are kind of lacking in the vehicle department. Not much this guy can do to me except to maybe make my repair go a little longer. Doing what he can now. Got to give him, uh, give him credit where credit's due, right? Now we're all repaired up, ready to go. And the Churchill Mark Seven that uh, is in the rear gets the kill. All that fighting. That I did. All that derpiness to go down. And I wind up getting bombed out here. Not much you could do against that. Here comes my death. Name Fitz. Doom Doom. Good rocket strike on his part. Now, originally I thought I had made a mistake by just spawning into my, uh, into my Typhoon. <laughs> that winds up working out in the end. I don't think I'm going to play out the whole thing. Uh, excuse me there, if it gets a little choppy, I had a bit of a coughing fit. I got a wee bit of a cold that I'm dealing with. So yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here. So that will conclude that one. That was a nail biter uh, battle. We wound up winning it by we went and recaptured the point. Well, they recaptured it and then we captured it back and won it won it by just a hair of uh, ticket bleed, just by a hair. So yeah, this uh, Churchill Mark Seven. It's a great tank. It's a, definitely a bruiser. It can take a beating, especially if it can uh, take an ass kicking like it took from that KV-2. I don't know how many rounds they take from that thing. Two, three, three rounds. Uh, just remember that you got to keep this, uh, keep it angled as much as possible. Because in an up tier, or even a, even at proper matchmaking, the front plate here, it's, it's not enough to stop most rounds that come in at it and this is your one of your biggest glaring weaknesses a round will enter in here hit the freaking radios that are back here and just the splash damage will kill your entire crew so be mindful of that uh yeah just uh also one other thing don't forget to uh like the video if you liked it share it 
because uh, we are in the business of growing this channel so let's try and make this uh, this community a little larger at a time I know it's not going to happen overnight oh but it would be nice if we could get up to the point where we're doing the giveaways uh, so anyways uh, you guys have a good night and I will see you in the next one later